What's up guys, this is Will Witt with PragerU. Today we're on Venice Beach talking to people about the police and if they're racist. Let's do it. What are your guys' thoughts on the police? In what sense? Uh, just first words that come to mind. Pigs. say <laughs> <laughs> pigs. Mm, I don't trust them. Brutality. I think they can be a bit aggressive. So you guys think the police are racist? Oh, 100%. I'm just on Twitter all the time and on Twitter I see lots of videos of them being racist, so. But that's just that must mean they're racist. I've been incarcerated, you know, before, and uh, I've been beat down by the police. You know what I mean? Um, my color, skin tone has gotten me away from things, but I'm Mexican. You know, when I speak Spanish, they actually like, you know, stick their guns out. There's a lot of institutionalized racism. Like, people are being persecuted wrongly for things that. You know, they shouldn't be persecuted for it. Just frankly, it's too much. We already know at the end of the day, if they, if um, the KKK members took off their hood, a lot of them are police officers, a lot of them are, are people in power. So that's like the real world that we've been living in since day one. There's a lot of racial profiling and bias that just comes with like the job is kind of the excuse all the time. And I don't think it's fair or right. There's so many times where it's kids just playing, you know, playing basketball. And, and the police pulls a gun on a kid? Like, come on. I don't think they're racist as a whole. I mean, there's probably racist mixed in. Like, I mean, people are flawed. I mean, there's sure to be some in there, but as a whole. I don't think so. I think it's just like the select few that ruin it for everybody. Their race shouldn't determine how much of a criminal they are. Like, their actions determine that. Does the fact that African Americans in general commit more crimes than, than white people, like, change your mind on that at all? You can have stats on something, but it doesn't change the fact that every single person is an individual. I was reading this thing, it said whites and Hispanics are more likely to be shot by the cops than black people are. Police officers are 18 times more likely to be killed by a black man than a black man is to be killed by a police officer. Actually, blacks are shot less than white people on average by the police. They found when they put police in more communities, more police in communities, actually the crime rate goes down in these places when they put more police in. I've seen that, I've seen that. The stats also would say that like African Americans are treated much worse by the police for the same crimes that white people do. Unless you can point out a certain person or like policy that's racist, it's kind of just telling people like, oh you can't succeed because the institution is racist and there's nothing you can do about it, you know what I mean? So instead we should look at like an individual person and say like, oh that person's that racist, person. that cop is racist. Yeah, I think they're good cops and bad cops. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's like they're good people and bad yeah. people. It would be short-sighted to say that, you know, you know, label a whole group, an institution or a group of people as one thing. You know, I, I think it's, I mean, it becomes a question about, you know, the character of the individual. Arresting that guy over there. It's racist.